Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We hope that you've been enjoying these uh, times of uh, devotion, looking into God's Word, and we hope you've been having a good day so far. Um, today we are looking at um, yet another of the prayers that Paul prays over the believers, and this time it's in Colossians. So he's praying over the uh, over the believers, praying f- uh, for the believers in Colossae. And we see this in Colossians chapter 1 and verses 9 to 12. So let's read through this. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So this is the first thing that he prays. He says that uh, since the day we heard about you, about your love for God, about your love for people of God. We do not cease to pray for you and to ask this one thing, that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will, of God's will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So what is God's will for you when it comes to matters of wisdom, when it comes to matters of spiritual understanding? We pray that you be filled with God's will, that His His desires for you, what He wants for you, the things that He wants you to walk in, may you be filled with that. Verse 10, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, and being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So Paul is praying that you may walk worthy of the Lord. You know, the Lord is so good and He's done so much and we have so much in Him. We have received so much in Him. So he's saying, let your life be something that reflects that. You walk worthy of this great God. Walk worthy of the Lord. Fully pleasing Him. Fully pleasing Him. And being fruitful or being successful in every good work, increasing in the knowledge of God. So this is something that he... Um, that is God's will for us, is, uh, uh, for us as well, that we would um, be fruitful in every good work. Everything that we put our hands to, that we'll be fruitful in it. And uh, the things that God has prepared for us, already prepared for us, the good works that He's already prepared for us, that we would discover, walk in it, and be fruitful in it, as we fully please the Lord. And as we do so, maybe increase in the knowledge of God. You know, this is something for every believer, this passion and this pursuit of the knowledge of God. It's not just information, again, it's revelation. What the Holy Spirit teaches us, what God Himself teaches us from His Word. You know, many times we fall short of that. We say, okay, I know a little bit of this, I know a little bit of that, and that's enough for me. Well, Paul's prayer is that that you would keep on increasing in the knowledge of God. And lastly, he prays, verse 11, strengthened with all might according to His glorious power for all patience and long-suffering with joy. That we might be strengthened with all might according to His glorious power. It's talking about the supernatural strength of God. It's talking about the supernatural ability of God. Saying, you be strong in it. Let this be seen in your life. And uh, let it be seen for all patience and long-suffering with joy. So, let it come through in patience and long-suffering. The supernatural power of God. Let it reflect itself in Christ-likeness. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that we could pray these prayers, that we could learn from these prayers, God. And uh, we pray that we would be filled with the knowledge of your will. That we would be filled, O Father God, uh, with, we'll continue to grow in wisdom and all understanding. And we'll continue to grow in the knowledge of God. Uh, And we pray that we will also be strengthened with the power of your might, O God. That your power will be displayed in our lives, even as we reflect your Christ-likeness with others. And this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.